In this video, we will learn about taxonomies in Drupal. Taxonomies is basically a term which helps in categorizing your website. It also includes a term which is known as vocabulary, which is a list of terms. Terms here includes what will describe your content. So here we will learn how to create a vocabulary. Also, we will learn how to create a term. So with that, why we need these things? Generally, let's say you have a technical website with some tags like programming, database and networking. Now we want more tags. So here we will create more tags section also under articles. More tags can be if you will have a programming content, it can be Java Ruby .net. So now we will see how to create a vocabulary. For that, go to structure. Here you can see the taxonomy option is visible. Click on it. Here you can see right now only, a, only one vocabulary is visible which is tags which we have seen in while creating articles or blog post. So now we will add another section known as more tags. For that click on add vocabulary. Here, here you can see we, now we will add the name and description of our vocabulary. So let's add it. So here you can see we have added the name more tags as well as description that here we can add more tags. Now we will click on save. So now you can see we have created a new vocabulary more tags. Here it is written created new vocabulary more tags. Under that now we have to add terms like we will click on add terms to add a new term which will describe our content more. So now you can see we can add a new term here we can add the name of the term with the description which would be visible under the link here is a text format here are other options like relations like if you want it to be at the root or at which level what should be the parent right now we will keep it at root only here is the weight in the same way which we have seen before that weight is in ascending order by weight like if it will be zero it will be on the top this is the url alias if you want that user clicks on that particular term and goes to that all the articles related to that term only so we can add this here so now we will add the name and description so let's add it so now you can see we have edited now it will be visible like articles related to java whenever a user will click on the link slash java so after doing all the changes you just have to click on save So now you can see a new term has been added Java. Here you can see we have added Java. So now we'll again go to taxonomy and let's see what happens. Here now you can see we have another vocabulary with more tags. You can easily drag it here. If you want, if you want more tags after tags, so you just have to drag it. So let's do it. So now you can see we have changed, we have added the tags above, more tags. Now after doing the changes, we will click on save. Here you can see the configuration options have been saved. So we have successfully created a vocabulary more tags. Under that we have created a term which is Java. So now we will add these under articles. For that, go to structure again, click on content types. Since the content types will include our basic page article settings, so we want more tags to be visible under articles only. For that, we have clicked on content types. Here you can see article, basic page and blog post is visible. So now we want this more tags to be visible under article, new article. So for that, you have to click on manage fields. So now you can see we have clicked on manage field. And here you can see the currently these themes are available. While you will create a content, first you will see a body, then comments, then image, then the tags. Now we will add a new field in the form of more tags. Click on add field. Here you can see you can easily add a new field. The option available is you can select the field type or you can reuse an existing one. We will select a field type here. Here you can see all the fields are visible. Here we will go to taxonomy term section because we have right now added a new taxonomy term. We'll click on it. Here you can see the labels are visible. So under label, we will write more tags because we want the user, if he or she is adding a new article, that it should be visible that you can add more tags from here. So let's add it. So as you can see here, we have added a label more tags here and the machine name which gets automatically assigned is field underscore more underscore tags. You can easily edit it. 
So now just click on save and continue. So now you can see we have added a taxonomy term. Here uh, other settings are visible like how many values do you want, will you allow, do you want to keep it limited or unlimited. So maybe it's a tags, number of tags, more tags, I want it to be 5. So I'll set it as 5. So let's change the values and keep it as limited only. So by default you will get an option to add 5 more tags. Now click on save field settings. So here you can see we have easily added and updated the field more tags. Here you can see the sections like label and help text. Now we will add a help text so that users who are adding an article know that what it is all about. So let's add it. So we will add here that you can add more text to your content. So let's add it. So now you can see we have added a help text that you can add more text to your content. This text will be visible under more text section when a new user will add an article. So now we will go to the bottom here if you want to keep it as a required field just click on it. So I will keep it as a required field. So now you can see the default values are visible. Right now if you remember we have created 5 options for tags so that user can add 5 more tags. So we created this here. So now the next section is reference type you can keep it as default or if you want to go for view reference for an entity view just leave it right now because it is a simple concept of taxonomies right now. Here you can see you can select this create reference entity if they don't already exist. So if you remember if you remember we created a Java entity only right now but if a user want to add another entity like un under Java he wants to add JDBC also so it will automatically create on its own. Here right now the next section is available vocabularies here we will select more tags. Now you can see it is checking about uh, more tags now that's it after doing the changes click on save settings. So here you can see we have changed the more tags configuration. Right now you can check that the more tags will be visible here and other sections are also available. So now we will add a new article and let's see what happens. So let's add it, go to content. Here you can see add content option is visible in the same way which we have seen in the previous videos. Now we have these many contents till now. Let's add a new content in the form of article and let's see what happens. Here you can see we need to add article because we have done changes in article only. Now under article you can see that these fields are available and now more tags are also available here because we created under. Why it is 5? Because we added the values are limited and as well as 5. So if you remember we added tags at Java only but if you want to create other tags also you can create it because we checked the reference entity setting if you remember. So after doing all the changes you just have to click on save and publish. Before that you can see add more text section is also available which we have added under the help text. After doing the changes after adding your content you just have to click on save and publish. So in this video we saw how to work upon taxonomies. We also learned what is a term, what is a vocabulary and we added more tags to our article section. Thank you for watching.